That's it? Oh my god, a little bit of... Oh, no way. Is it going to happen again? Let's go. Oh my god! Hello everyone! I hope you're having a great day! In this video, I will explain in detail how you can create the most overpowered and incredibly stylish Death Knight build. This fantastic setup will make you become a complete monster capable of deleting the toughest bosses and enemies of the DLC insanely fast. The Death Knight's Twin Axes are one of the coolest and most destructive weapons you can obtain within your first 10 minutes of playing Shadow of the Air Tree. According to the scale values presented on its description, these Twin Axes are designed to be used in a Strength and Fate build, but after testing it multiple times I found that the best way to use it is actually the strangest stats distribution I've seen in my life. First of all, I'm going to talk about the main features of the weapon, I will explain the details of the build, I will test it against the hardest bosses of the base game, and I am going to show you how you can obtain this weapon as soon as you enter the land of shadows. And to see the true potential of the Dead Knight access, at the end of the video I will destroy one of the strongest DLC bosses in just 5 attacks. So without anything further to say, let's make this weapon shine. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring build, Builds, MMO EXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMO EXP for sponsoring today's video. Ok guys, what we have here today is basically a regular axe that in the same way that many other DLC weapons, if you two hand it, you will obtain another one unlocking an R1 power stance moveset that is the same power stance moveset of the axe class. I'm pretty sure they designed these twin axes this way so you are forced to use the power stance moveset of this weapon category. However, the most important feature of this Twin Axes is the outstanding unique skill Blink Bolt Twin Axe, which is a 2 input Ash of War. The first one is a lightning charge that grants all my frames to get closer to the target, and the second one will transform you into a lightning vortex that deals a massive amount of damage. The best part of this bad boys is that the skill is so easy to use that you don't need to rely on the regular attacks. Despite of being an axe, it has one of the most beautiful weapon designs, it deals a ridiculous amount of damage, and its unique skill is definitely a spectacular display of pure destruction. And those are the main features of this weapon, now let's jump straight to the equipment and the stats. We are going to be using the Death Knight's Twin Axes on plus 10 and any seal we have available to cast or main buffs. You know that you can use any armor set you like, but we are going to be using the Death Knight armor set for this build. And if you use this full set, you will increase the damage of the Blink Bolt Twin Axe skill by a total of 8%. So with this armor set we have a lot of defense, a lot of damage and a lot of style, what else do you want buddy? The best talismans we can use for this build are the Ritual Sword Talisman, the Shard of Alexander, the Roaring Winds of Insignia and the Millicent's Prosthesis. If you are missing one of these talismans, the Lightning Scorpion Charm is a great alternative as well. In our Flask of Wondrous Physic, we are going to use the Lightning Shrouding Crack Tear and the Thorny Crack Tear. And this weapon consumes a lot of stamina, so be sure to craft some Pickle Torten Legs to boost your stamina regeneration speed. In order to obtain the max performance of this weapon and to have an optimal build, we are going to use 50 on Vigor, 40 on Endurance, 47 on Strength, Dexterity on 60, and 47 on Fate. I know, guys, that this stats distribution looks horrible, but it is actually the way you can obtain the best AR from this weapon and from the skill. If you go with purely strength and fate, the damage will be the lowest possible. If you go dexterity fate, the damage will be a little bit higher. And if you use this stat distribution, the damage will be the highest possible. Golden Vow and Hall of Shabiri are going to be our main buffs. In this case, I strongly recommend you to use Hall of Shabiri over Flame Grand Me Strength, because we are going to be dealing a lot of damage, and that 30% of damage taken is not going to be that significant. And I only have my Scatterchip Blessing at the level 12, but you can push it all the way up to 12 and your damage will be even more broken and your defense as well. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we destroy the game with this weapon? Well guys, to buff your character with this build you have to use Golden Bow first, then a Pickle Turtle Leg which is completely optional, now use your Flask of Undros Physic and now cast Hall of Shabriri and with that you are ready to go. Mm. Why are you running? <laughs> no way, Malenia, you are dreaming if you think you are going to run from me, bro, no! Oh my god! That's it? Oh my god, a little bit of- oh, no way! Is it going to happen again? IT HAPPENED AGAIN, BRO! <laughs> <laughs> 
I did it, bro. No way. Here. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> now. Now. Let's go. Oh my god. Let's go, that's a lot of damage, baby. Oh, she's close, let's go. Nice, that's what I'm talking about, guys. Okay, guys, now I will show you how you can obtain this weapon as fast as possible. To obtain this weapon as soon as you enter the DLC, you have to complete the Fog Rit Catacombs, and the easiest way to reach this place is from the Castle Front side of Grace, follow this route, and just run, just run, don't stop at all, just run, just run, and you will find these catacombs and you will have to complete the puzzle by yourself or you can look for a guide and then you will obtain the weapon. And the armor set will be located in the dark like catacombs inside a chest. As well, if you don't want to complete this puzzle by yourself, look for a guide, because it is actually a little bit complicated to explain in, in, in a build video, bro. I, I'm actually tired of those weapons that uh, deal a lot of, uh, of hits and doesn't get that benefit, bro. It's so annoying. But this one is perfect. It's pure destruction, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is it, Mesmer? This is it, Mesmer? Wow, guys, <laughs> the most broken weapon of the game, definitely.